And then there would be times where she'd be like, I don't trust him. I hate him. I can't stand him. And I'm like, okay, sis, so why are you trying to get back with him? Make it make sense. Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Anastasia the Black Bookworm and today as promised I'm here because I finished Exodus. Now if you're new here, if this is your first video, um, I posted a video of my reaction to reading Flock by Kate Stewart. I'm just jumping right in. I didn't even tell you what's going on. I'm reading the Raven Hood series. It is a trilogy by Kate Stewart. I'm buddy reading it with Jasmine and <laughs> her IG is, I don't know why I put my hand up because I'm probably just gonna put like a video up somewhere, but her IG is Lovely Reads and we are buddy reading this series together along with comments from so many different people, commentary from so many different people. Um, this has been a journey a journey now i started reading these books um because i saw some youtubers and booktubers and like book talk people talking about it and the general gist of what i got was like you're going to be lost throughout the first book your heart's going to break in the second book and it's going to be put together again by the third book and sorry y'all i just feel like i have hairs on me to itch um i can say that for book one i was lost <laughs> If you have not, again, please go watch that video so you kind of have more of an understanding of how I'm coming into this video um, to let y'all know my, I would say raw reaction, but I finished that book at midnight last night. So I went to bed and I'm now telling you guys like 14 hours later, 15 hours later, um, but it is what it is. It's still like set will there be spoilers i'm gonna say spoiler alert i'm gonna try not to spoil anything but i just just in case there might there might be some spoilers i'm trying my best for there not to be but there might be some y'all warned me when i say y'all i mean the people that probably will never see this y'all warned me y'all said this book was gonna break me and i was like okay whatever y'all just being extra y'all weren't i broke several times i broke so much reading that book so 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 much um let's see let's see this book is about you learn who the frenchman is um and he pretty much keeps cecilia like captive and like I said, book one, you're completely lost. And book two, you get an understanding of like what is going on and why um, Sean and Dom were acting the way they were in book one. Um, and you learn that their actions and like their personality traits are kind of like, I guess like the amalgamation of who the Frenchman is just so that they could kind of prepare her to meet him. And he sounds hot. Mm. His name is Tobias. He, he's hot. It is what it is. <laughs> and this book, when you read the first book, the prologue is like the present day. And then you go back like six years. I don't know why I thought it was nine. I think you go back six years into the um, past. Or is it nine? I don't know you just go you go back far into the past um and all of book one just takes place during the past book two half of it is in the past half of it is in like the present day and you learn that basically what's going on with the raven hood i don't even know if they refer to themselves as that but what's going on with the raven hood is that they are kind of like a bunch of Robin Hoods that are like taking down the rich corporate um, powers that be and giving that money to like the small business owners and 
people that actually truly deserve it. And so you just you see these people that occasionally will do drops, which is like they'll go to and I think this happened in the first book. I don't know if I forgot to mention it. Well, I didn't know it was important. <laughs> um, they'll go to different restaurants and not just restaurants, businesses in their town occasionally. And it's kind of like a monopoly ish sort of not a monopoly, a lottery sort of thing um, where they go and they like drop off a bunch of money and just help them out because, you know, in a small town and your business is struggling, you're not going to get a lot of like heavy foot traffic and a lot of consistent business. So it's just something that they do to help the business owners stay in business and just help the people. And so you learn that this is coming from the Frenchman. This is his whole idea, his whole motive. And the reason that he wants to do it is because he lost his parents um, in a fire. I don't know if this will be spoiling it. He lost his parents in a fire. Um, the company covered it up because it happened at their job. The company covered it up. And he was like, okay, look, what? we're not going to let people go through what I went through again. And so he built this whole entire like army all over the place, like in France and um, North Carolina, Alabama, Florida, like everywhere. There's, they just built this big army. And... Um, you get to a point where you like see this war happen i'm really trying not to spoil it but you see this war happen and it's like within the actual raven hood and my heart broke after that happened after the war happens you jump back to like eight years into the future where you um were in the prologue where you see cecilia like leaving her fiance and you and you learn who he is side note Cecilia's personality is so annoying. I don't think I've ever disliked a female main character so much, but I feel like that's how a lot of people felt when they were reading Twilight, when they were like, what's so special about Bella? I feel that reading Cecilia, reading about Cecilia. Um, I think it's because I've read more books and like there's female main characters that I love and respect and admire and she's not one of them as of finishing Exodus. I don't know. How I'll feel when I finish the finish line, but as of right now, I just she gets on my everlasting nerve. Um, did I, I? I sobbed. I sobbed. Me and Jasmine sobbed. We cried for collectively hours. Um, we just cried. Oh my god, that book was so sad. And what was crazy was like the sad part, which if you read the book, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The sad part. It was like you 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 make it you survive and then um you just stay sad <laughs> like like the more i read the more my heart hurt for all parties involved i was like this book is sad this book is really sad like breaking my heart tearing my heart apart just oh just page by page just broke more and more and seeing someone go through so much and have so little control in her life and it's like these men were manipulating her circumstances and like trying to keep her safe and trying to give her as little information as possible and it is not that it didn't matter because it does because they did keep her safe but it was like at what cost at what cost at what cost oh my gosh and poor cecilia like she comes back to sell her dad's house and um sell his business because she's inherited it and she is just a broken woman rightfully so but she's it's just so hard to see and like to read and just she's so sad oh she's so sad and i <sighs> I just felt for her. I think I don't think I've ever, and it was like a lot of it was no, a little bit was secondhand embarrassment. A lot of it was just like this poor woman. I just sympathized, and I just wanted so much to reach into this book and just grab her by like the shoulders and be like, Cecilia, 
girl, we got to get out of this town. We, this is not the place for you. you. You were not finding the healing here that you thought you would. I respect her journey of like trying to get her life together. They said to stay away, don't come back. And she stayed away for eight years. That's a long time to not have any contact with these people that meant so much to you. And when she comes back, she comes back, this grown woman has graduated college, is super established in her like self, her business and all this stuff. Um, but it's just this part of her that she just has to work through and heal. And it's like, she, she said it, she's like, no amount of therapy can help me out because I can't tell them everything that went down. Um, so it's not like she can get, what's the word I'm looking for? Accurate is not the word. What is the word? Ooh, y'all, my brain just went blank. Um, I cannot think of the word adequate it's not like she can get adequate help um and so she's just i don't know if i would describe it as rock bottom but you just you see her just she's down bad I, there's so much that i want to say but i don't want to spoil it i don't understand how cecilia has had in counting five fine men fall in love with her and she just I just don't get it I don't get the appeal that's my issue with this book I was like I don't get the appeal um I did not understand I didn't understand a lot of like her motives like I did but a lot of it also at the same time like would not make sense she would she would say like she would talk to Tobias and like confess her love and talk about how he loved her too and he was like move on girl it's been eight years like you need to leave you don't need to come back and then there would be times where she'd be like I don't trust him I hate him I can't stand him and I'm like okay sis so why are you trying to get back with him make it make sense like that stuff like that was it was just very wishy-washy and I just was not a fan of it and I didn't tell y'all I rated this book three stars only well not only there's two main reasons I have to sneeze <coughs> okay excuse me the first reason was this grammatically it was written in a way that was very odd like and I just noticed with all her books, I cannot tell who is speaking. And there's grammatical rules to follow so that the reader is not lost. And I was like, I just feel like this was not, I don't know who edited this, but we could have done a lot better with the way that she formatted her writing. Um, oh, I love grammar, love it. So that bothered me. Lastly, he did not grovel enough for me at the end chapter 52 i was like okay okay cool where's my groveling it was just very like she was like i'm gonna put you through hell and he was like okay i expect it and that was that and i was like what <laughs> this man for eight years and eight months put you through the fire And you're just like, okay. I didn't get it. I didn't like it. Now, having said that, and having already rated it, I read the author's note for the finish line. And I see that this was intended to be a duet. And the finish line started off as like an extended epilogue. And then it ended up being an entirely new book. Um... And so I know we're going to get more of like how they actually move past this. Um, but just taking the book for face value that I think it was smart of her to write a third book that shows more of the work that he had to put in to get back into her good graces because ending it with that after everything that they went through, in my opinion, would not have been the best idea. Um, cause I can't imagine there not being a third book. I would hate this series. Cause I'd be like, what in the world did I just read? And why did I go through that for, no, for like no payoff? So that's why I gave it three stars. Would I recommend it? 
I'm gonna say the same thing I said last time. Yeah, because it's just a journey. It's just been a journey. Um, I would just recommend buddy reading it so you don't have to go through this journey alone. Um, there's a whole lot of people I've learned that have, which I knew read this book, but a whole lot of people that are like dying to talk to someone about it. And so if you're gonna read it, you can find someone. I think last video I was like, good luck trying to find a buddy read to read this book. Like it's gonna be, it might be hard, but you know, do it. I, I'm learning. I think it'll be easier than I thought. So I would say read it. It's available on Kindle Unlimited, all three books. That's how I've been reading them. Um, and do I have any predictions? I think we're just going to get a regular degular romance for the finish line. Um, learning more about Tobias and getting the happily ever after that, like, they both deserve, but not so, like, quick like they try like she tried to do in chapter 52 i don't think it's gonna be like that i think it's gonna be like a longer process of how they can actually be together because they have a lot of love for each other they went through a lot of stuff together um and i can understand how like nobody will be able to love them the way that they can love each other because of their past experiences and at the same time he still has a lot of work to do so that is my predictions for the finish line. I think had I come, had I done a reading vlog, y'all would have seen me crying on the internet, but we didn't, so you won't. <laughs> um, but anywho, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please don't forget to like, um, to actually like the video. Comment below if you've read the book. If you haven't read the book, I like talking to y'all. So just comment below because I like talking to y'all and I like reading your comments. Um, will we get a thumbnail i think we already have i'm sure i made a face somewhere in here that i can just be like mm, that's how i feel thumbnail but yeah um turn on those post notifications subscribe comment i think that's everything that i need to say y'all my mind is just blown i am still trying to figure it out i was unwell after chapter 25 i was unwell and so I'm finally putting myself back together. So y'all just have to bear with me because my heart was broken, but we're here, we're back. And I'm literally off to go read the finish line. I only did this video right now because I was like, I don't want to read too much into this book and be like, oh, like distort my actual reaction to Exodus. So now that this has been recorded, I'm going to go read. And I hope you do the same. Bye.